Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Yanta's Universe, it's me, Yanta. This is going to be your June 2023 love predictions. So whoever voted on the community tab for individual mini readings, this is for you. Um, only take the messages that resonate. Not every message, card, or storyline is going to resonate. Could have already happened, could be happening now, or it could be predictive, you guys. Um, I heard you guys might need two messages. I heard that while I was shuffling, so we'll jump into it, Aquarius. I'm open for a personal reading. Check the description box. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No up and that's what makes me shall prosper. Close all doors so no negativity sneaks in. Please give me clear honest messages for Aquarius, June 2023. Oh, okay, y'all. We have justice here at the bottom of the deck y'all could be dealing with a libra things are being balanced something could happening in the legal system here we do have the world card y'all could be traveling there's something different there's something shifting and changing for you guys okay i'm just gonna let some cards fly out okay this is for aquarius The three of swords here so there could be some heartache some heartbreak this is air energy ten of swords okay three of swords ten of swords a lot of pain strife heartache could be arguments the fool somebody acting foolishly and recklessly and it could be you aquarius here's the star all right or maybe just you i don't know being a little too reckless being a little too vulnerable not being cautious enough here let me see what's going on Clarify the Three of Swords, please, for Aquarius. A lot of air energy, and this is you. The Fool represents Aquarius for me as well. So this is all about you. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. Maybe you got your heart broken by a water sign. King of Cups. This is a relationship here. A soulmate. Okay, a very strong bond. It's kind of like this Queen of Cups. You see how the Queen of Cups is giving her heart and the King of Cups is like kind of receiving, putting the heart in his chest. So what I'm seeing is either you could have been giving while the other person was receiving and maybe you didn't get reciprocity, okay? Or maybe whatever the person was giving you, you aren't able to reciprocate. You whatever it is they were giving you you weren't nourished off of it it wasn't um nurturing you how you needed it to be what have you okay a lot of emotions and a lot of hurt all right you got so what i'm saying is you guys be open and honest y'all are hurt y'all are hurting clarify the ten of swords clarify the ten of swords all right we have the page of pentacles y'all could have been betrayed by a friend okay a friend or a family member clarify the page of pentacles and the ten of swords the seven of cups this could be multiple people okay and then we have justice i feel like maybe you feel like multiple people are against you here for some reason, all these people in your energy, these friends, the Page of Pentacles is like a friend, a family member, somebody you're supposed to be able to rely on and depend on, okay? But it's I feel like you feel like people bring you negativity, people bring you confusion, people bring you heartache and heartbreak, and all you want to do is love people, all you want to do is be kind. Clarify the star. All right, we have the eight of wands you guys could be um distancing yourselves to gain um some peace yeah we have the wheel of fortune you guys are distancing yourself to gain some peace and some clarity the ace of swords and doing that you're gonna sorry doing that you're gonna create more new beginnings new opportunities planting new seeds ace of wands ace of swords okay clarify the fool
the page of cups you will love again okay with the six of wands you will be victorious you will love yourself you will experience the joys and the spice of life you will you will you will okay this could be in relation to a job uh, i don't know if there's something toxic yeah five of wands that happened at your job place your workplace in regard to your home your friends your family okay clarify the ten of swords okay we have the nine of pentacles so something about you needing to have your own autonomy being independent um really being able to when you start working on yourself see that through aquarius see it through sometimes because what i'm seeing is sometimes you work on yourself a little bit and think okay that's it i'm good enough let me jump back out there like no that's not it i'm sorry this ain't even the nine of pentacles it's the three of pentacles but i was still saying working on yourself that's what the three of pentacles is and then your environment and then the people you need to have boundaries with these people don't don't be afraid to speak the truth aquarius ain't never been afraid to say what's on their mind king of swords so whatever it is that's on your heart that's on your mind express that make sure you have your boundaries held high okay you can love people but love people at a distance okay so tell me what this three of swords is about one more time because this i see it's about a relationship or about love or a water sign sun moon rising venus we have the queen of cups so three of swords two queens here could be cheating um too many people in your energy too many uh you could be talking to multiple people dating multiple people okay what's clarify the queen of swords uh sorry clarify the queen of uh wands queen of swords might come out clarify the queen of wands somebody could be trying to brush up on your person the page of wands yeah, somebody could be flirting with your person, sending your person text messages and shit. Somebody could, or, or, uh, Santa Morte, this is the death card. The two of wands. Okay, what I, all I'm seeing is it's not really making sense. So this is the three of swords and then two queens is telling me there's multiple people, third parties in the mix. This may or may not be in regard to romance. It may or may not be, you know, family members, co-workers. But I'm seeing there is a message here and possibly a child. Okay. So you are, you have a soulmate, the king and queen of cups. The three of swords means maybe y'all broke up. You had a child with somebody else. Okay, clarify the page of wands. If a page comes, tell me if this is a child or a message. Clarify the page of wands. My hair is not done. Y'all ain't finna see me looking crazy, but I think y'all done already see my little baby twist. Okay. Uh, fuck it. Okay, so did another card fall? When it all, when it all falls down. I'm telling you, I Okay, we have the Five of Wands arguing, fighting, bickering, fussing, King of Swords, King of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing is you and your family is arguing or you and your coworkers are arguing. You and whoever the hell this is is arguing. There's a lot of drama. Also, the police or the law could be getting involved. Okay. Okay, what's the advice for Aquarius? Because this is too much. Any advice for Aquarius? All right, we have the world. Okay, close them doors. Close old chapter. Ugh. Close old chapters. Close old cycles. Uh, just let it go. Close it. Leave it alone. 
old people, friendships, relationships. Okay, time to move on, make better decisions, okay? Because what I'm seeing is, is a lot of drama. Somebody's bringing drama to you and you really need to be careful. Okay, so this is a warning for you, Aquarius. Yeah, judgment. Please make better decisions. For real, okay? For whoever needs it. Because this ain't going to end up well, Five of Pentacles. Please be careful because these other people dragging you into this drama, these are the type of people to throw the rock and hide their hands and initiate with you. And then they jump out the situation and they're nowhere to be found while you keep going. Okay, now you're mad. Now you're upset. Okay, now you want to bring me into this drama and into this mess. Okay, let's go at it. Let's keep going. But you're actually the only one left still in the drama, in the mess, while everybody else is moving on with their lives. Everybody else done left the situation. Y'all know this is this is very toxic and narcissistic. Y'all know how somebody will start an argument with you. And then when you engage and you're messaging back or responding or replying, and you don't get a response from them. That's some bullshit. That's what I'm seeing is happening here. Either with words or um, like situations and experience. Things like that. Be careful of the company you keep. Bad company corrupts good character. I see Aquarius, Earth, um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. I feel a lot of Libra as well. Fire, air, a lot of air, water, Earth, water, water, fire, more fixed energy. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, air, a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire, fire, uh, fire, water, air, Earth, uh, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, fire, air. And then more Scorpio, Sagittarius, and fixed energy. Okay. All right. Now let's get to the love predictions for Aquarius. June 2023. All right. So we do have children here. Children may be involved. Uh, children may be affecting your love life. Your love life is being affected by children. You might have kids. You want to have kids. Your person might have kids. They may want to have kids. But I told you I saw somebody was having a child either with you or with somebody else. And then we do have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like somebody's working you, Aquarius. Okay. And then we have give your relationship a chance. That's some bullshit. So what I'm seeing is, no, nah, I don't like this Aquarius because I feel like there's a lot of drama. Maybe you want to work things out with your baby mom or baby dad, but this is very toxic. Here you go, Aquarius, the star. <sighs> the Knight of Wands, somebody's here for play. Okay, now this could be Aquarius doing this to the cross watcher. All right. Let's see. This is for Aquarius. All right. What we're going to do is take a look at your person, see who they are, their intentions, and the possible outcome. All right. All right. Your love life is being affected by children. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Work on your partnership. Who is this person? The Ace of Pentacles. Somebody new. Go towards somebody new. Okay, you could be dealing with the Leo. The new person could be a Leo or an Earth sign. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, work on something new. Work on your partnership. This could be a business partnership. Continue um, putting in the effort at your job, okay? But who this person is is somebody new, wanting a new beginning, giving you a new offer. All right, their intentions with you. The Six of Swords. Okay. I'll clarify this. The Six of Swords does represent moving to calmer waters. Um moving in a peaceful direction, but this could also represent distance. What's the possible outcome? The two of swords, okay? This is kind of blocking energy here. <sighs> Who is this? Judgment. 
could be somebody from the past. All right, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new person or somebody Aquarius already knows. Ten of Wands. So this offer is going to come with a lot of burdens. Okay, this offer is going to come with a lot of baggage. This offer is going to come with a lot of responsibilities. It could be a Gemini. I feel like somebody is working you. Or a Virgo. Clarify the Six of Swords for their intentions with Aquarius. Six of Swords, Eight of Wands. Communication coming towards you that, but still being distant. Okay. The Five of Pentacles, yeah, still feeling distant. Okay. This person is going to open lines of communication to make you available to them, but they will not be available to you. Clarify the Two of Swords as a possible outcome. All right, Justice. Okay, this is actually going to be this, them ignoring you, them acting like a B word, them being closed off, them not making a decision about you is the best thing that can happen for you. Okay? Okay, it's really going to help you dodge a bullet. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. You can have kids with them. You can have family with them. You can feel tied to them like you can't get away. But we have two nines here, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Keep your guard and your boundaries and remain independent from this situation don't get involved in their drama okay yes you want to be a good friend or yes you have some type of um you have to deal with them on a daily basis or maybe you have to deal with them on some for some letter you have to deal with them on some type of level but that don't mean get involved and wrapped in and tied in into their life and into their drama that is on them just because you have kids with them don't mean you are their personal uh, therapist, okay? No, they can't do what you want to do in life, Aquarius, okay? The high priestess, just use your intuition, y'all, for real. Um, mm. So, it's up to you whether you want this or not. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, Aquarius. Just be careful. So I see Earth, Fire, Fire, Air, Air, Libra, Pisces, Earth, Fire, Air, Earth. All right. Yeah, Seven of Wands, really have your guards up. Just have your guards up. Give me any messages on new love. Any new love coming in for Aquarius. Anything new anybody new the new person yes the ace of swords the new person after you cut off all that extra crap there's something new someone new with communication their intentions the world a whole new world. they want to show you something you ain't never seen before now this you can give this a chance possible outcome all right we got the nine of wands you might still be a little closed off a little scared maybe these two people are coming at the same time and you're like okay am i supposed to be with my person from the past or should i give this new person a try maybe you should give the new person a try the person from the past shit they probably gonna always be there you can always come back to them okay the will of fortune you got something new coming in for you okay something new i like it something new Clarify the nine of wands as the possible outcome. Clarify the nine of wands as the possible outcome. And the four of pentacles. Yeah, you are going to be a little closed off, but I'm seeing like you do want to see where this goes. You're just going to be, you're not going to open up so fast. You're not. Are you going to open up at all? You going to open up at all or are you going to just let this in? I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow, we have the seven of swords. What is that about? Yikes, I wasn't expecting that. Clarify the seven of swords. 
I think you're going to be confused. The King of Swords. You're going to be confused. The Three of Cups. You're going to be dealing with both of these people at the same time. You're not going to know which one is playing you, which one is being for real. But you playing as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Because the more I dig into this, the more confused I get. But the more juicy it gets too, y'all. We'll see at the end of the month what y'all going to do. All right. We do have air. Fixed energy towards Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Earth, Fire, Water, Air, Air, Fixed Energy, and Sag. I love y'all until I see y'all again. Y'all be safe. Peace.